Well, today, ready Penny, sit down, today is Reformation Sunday. And Reformation is a big word that we use to describe a time in history, which was over 500 years ago, where the church was going off track and God used some strong and courageous leaders to say, stop, this is not what the Bible says. And one of those leaders was a man, Sammy, can you hold this up, by the name of Ulrich Zwingli. Can you all say Zwingli? Zwingli. Wow, that is amazing. And Ulrich Zwingli was an ordinary man and God used him and his Bible preaching and a sausage. Yep, a sausage to change the direction and the course of the history of the Christian church. It's a bit funny sounding, isn't it? But Bernard's going to be talking a lot about this man today and you're all going to have to listen carefully so you can listen and understand about the sausage story. Can you do that? (laughs) Even though the Reformation happened a long time ago, it's important for us and it's a great reminder today that we need to be reforming every day. We need to be asking ourselves, is this biblical? Is this what the Bible says in everything we do in our church and in how we live our lives? So the only way we can do that is by knowing what the Bible says, isn't it? And a great way for us to remember is to do our memory verse, to store it up in our hearts and our minds so we remember what the Bible says and we can follow what God says. So can you all remember the memory verse from last week? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's stand up and we're going to remember Mrs. Luke and Smy's actions. And can you turn it around, Sammy? So we'll have the words for the first couple of goes and then we'll have to um, see if we can do it without them. So do you remember that we said, one, two, three, I am not able to. Joseph said to Pharaoh, It is God who will give Pharaoh a favourable answer. Do you think the adults should all stand up too? Yeah, everyone stand up. (laughs) Alrighty, and we'll see if they can do the actions as well as you can. So on three, we'll have another go. With the words, Sammy, can you hold them up so everyone can see? I am, oh, sorry, I'll say one, two, three. One, two, three. I am not able to, Joseph said to Pharaoh. It is God who will give Pharaoh a favourable answer. Okay, we'll put the words down and we'll see how we go. You ready? One, two, three. I am not able to. Joseph said to Pharaoh, it is God who will give Pharaoh a favourable answer. Awesome. You guys did so well. And that's so great for us to remember the Bible and have it in our minds and our hearts. So I'm just going to say a prayer and then we're going to get our kids' sheets, okay? So, Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord, that you can help us to understand what it says and help us to be able to know you more, Lord, so we can follow you every day. Amen. Amen.